This calisthenics athlete didn't have to just overcome gravity on his rise to the top, but also a life-threatening condition which could make him become paralyzed for the rest of his life. This is the inspirational story of Daniel Christoph, the true fighter who didn't let anything to stop him. Daniel Christoff was born in 2001 in the home country of a lot of today's Kaisnings legends like Netko, Viktor or Stefan and that is Bulgaria. Same as a lot of parents, Daniel's parents signed him to gymnastics which will later on play a huge role in his rise to the top. In 2013, after practicing gymnastics for 6 years, he started his professional career by competing on a really high level in a lot of national competitions as well as in many World Cups. Everything was going great, he had a really good future ahead of him as a professional gymnast and maybe even a potential to become that good so he would be written in the gymnastics history. Who knows? Well, there was one thing nobody expected that this great year will also become the worst one which will change his whole life. When he was preparing for his competitions, he injured his shoulder and so he went with his parents to the hospital where they scanned him with the magnetic resonance. After the scan they found nothing very special, just a normal shoulder injury. But because they scanned his whole body, they found a lot bigger problem than the shoulder was. Even the doctors said that they had never seen something like this. Daniel had a serious and very rare anomaly called Chiari malformation. This means that the skull was smaller than it should be and so the brain slowly started to form itself downwards. This is a very serious problem because as soon as it starts to put a pressure on the spinal cord, with a high chance it can lead over time to a complete paralyzation of the body. What makes this even a lot scarier is that you don't even know that you have it, because in most cases it has zero symptoms, so if you somehow don't find it, you are done. He thought that this is end of everything, end of gymnastics, sports in general or basically healthy lifestyle, and hearing this as a young boy when he had a whole life ahead of him, was devastating. His Bulgarian doctors were like really bad and recommended him an operation that would literally solve nothing, which he found out after he went to Austria, where doctors were shocked with the solution of their Bulgarian colleagues. Daniel finally being in the right hands was offered with the best possible solution, but the price for the surgery was insane. 50,000 euros! His parents didn't know what to do because this amount of money would be devastating and only way how to pay it would be by selling their home. But then a miracle happened. Daniel's grandfather which lived for many years in Austria came with a solution of making the surgery free of charge but still it wasn't the end of it because there was a chance of going on the surgery and not coming back. The goal of this surgery is to release the pressure which cerebral and stretch tonsils put on the spinal cord, resulting again in the normal flow of the fluids. In the first case, all it takes is to remove a small piece of the skull to make a room for the fluids. In the second case, surgeon may need to go even further and cut a little bit those stretch tonsils to make even more room. All this that I shrank into a few sentences takes 4 hours on average of being under a tremendous amount of pressure because basically one wrong move and the consequences will be catastrophic. Luckily Daniel got through this surgery without any complications, but now will come the real fight Daniel would need to go through because what was waiting for him when he wakes up was a terrible head pain and on top of that he couldn't move at all. He spent two long weeks lying on the bed without standing. The only thing that was moving up and down was his bed. Daniel started again from a complete zero with trying to lift his arms, legs and the head. 
the normal movements that are easy for us were for him extremely difficult. Just turning his head to the sides was hard, but he kept progressing day by day. On the day 15 it was the time for his first time standing, which was insanely hard. His legs were heavily shaking, but after this achievement he was really proud of himself that he made it. Shortly after that he regained his capability of walking and soon he was out of the hospital back home. He was a true fighter and after a year of rehabilitations he could go right back into the gymnastics. He was ready but in the end he chose to not go back because of his parents which weren't mentally ready. And so this was the start of 5 years of doing basically nothing outside of playing sometimes soccer. And so thanks to that boredom Daniel found his way to gaming. He truly fell in love with it and kept playing for hours every day on PC, PlayStation, everywhere he could, but one day he said to himself that this needs to stop. And so in 2018 Daniel and his friend went outside to train at Calisthenics Park, even though his doctor said that he should stay away from doing gymnastics and similar sports. So he decided to do only some basic stuff like muscle ups, pull ups and so on. When they arrived there were already like 7 guys training on a really high level. And what impressed Daniel was a simple swing 360 and a shrimp flip. Even though he was amazed by the shrimp flip, he was also scared of doing that and so he said to himself that he will never do it. After the workout he felt great and decided to continue with this style of training, not knowing that he had just made the best decision he could. He got this first sign of him having a potential in this sport by being able to hold a 3 second sterile punch just after a month and a few days of basics. Now the situation switched as those athletes which Daniel was looking up to were now amazed by him and telling him that he can accomplish a lot but he said that he just trains for himself to not play games all day long. After another month he tried the swings he used to do in gymnastics following up with a couple of 180s and 360s. The Calisthenics Park was also the place where he met Viktor Kamenov, Stefan and Netko, which helped him a lot with different elements. After another month of grinding he improved his straddle hold to 15 seconds which caused him to progress to the full planche in only 15 days. By the end of 2018 he was already on a high level doing full planche press, touch front level hold, swing 540 and even the skill he didn't want to do, the shrimp flip. At the beginning of 2019, after winning his first competition, he truly decided to give Kaisnanks all he got, making him become an unstoppable machine. He started to appear more and more in Kalisthenics competitions, for example the 2019 World Championship where he won the second place and ending the year with the World Cup Super Finals where he won the second place too. Daniel kept working hard and improving session by session, making him win a couple of competitions, but the main one he was aiming for was the 2021 World Championship, which he finally won. 
Following up with winning the 2022 FIBO and after a lot of very hard battles, also the 4th Street Workout Ultimate Battles. He was truly unstoppable and so this wasn't all in this year, as he won also the Cali Athletics Highlander Cup, a second place at the World Championship and ending the year in the December, with the first place at the Beast of the Bars. And now in the 2023, the most recent one being the 5th Street Workout Ultimate Battles. Daniel has been doing calisthenics now for almost 5 years and so far he achieved a lot, from literally having no idea about his future after losing his passion, to becoming a multiple times calisthenics champion. And we can say that calisthenics pretty much saved his life, because after a year of working out, he was diagnosed with a severe scoliosis, but thanks to calisthenics, his muscles became strong enough to stop making the spine curve even more. Not mentioning his tennis elbow injury, which bothered him for a long time too. No matter what happened, he didn't stop and overcame every obstacle, with a support from his family and his girlfriend Andrea, which does guys things too. Daniel Christoph, the man who survived a life-threatening condition and started from a real zero, is a motivation for many people that you can achieve anything, but you gotta really want it.